So why are more kids scoring high on the SATs? Even if your kid is a 4.8 GPA student, well, it's because they treat this test like a school test. And you can't do that. Because unlike school, where your teacher teaches you the material, does review throughout the week, even does after school sessions to make sure that you get the material. Unlike that, the SATs and the ACTs are actually designed to keep your score as low as possible. Because every module on the test, on the SATs, there are two experimental questions. And what they do with that experimental question is that at the end of the test, College Board now has hundreds and thousands of data points that tell you how the students did on that particular question. So they're based on the statistics alone. They'll say like, oh, 72% of the students got this question right, which makes it an easy question and so on and so forth. So when they give you the questions on the test, they can put it in such a way that only a certain percentage of the students will get that question right, get that question wrong. It's statistically inclined. So what that means is, is that you can do the problems over and over and over again. There's just something that's in that problem that's designed for you to, to get that question wrong or increase the likelihood of you getting that question wrong. So College Board, has to rely on the averages. You have to rely on how the average person thinks in order to be able to make sure that these numbers work. And so for you, in order to improve your score, you have to stop doing what everybody else is doing. And that could be the simplest thing. When I teach a student a particular strategy, they'll say like, oh, this is too simple. This is too easy. I always tell them, yes, it is. But most kids won't do it. Most of the kids in our classes won't do this over and over again. And the reason why only a one out of 100 students get that 1500 is because only one out of 100 students will do it this way. Click down below for more information.